configured the, the tarp and the shelter so now it's like a lean-to style with a front end I built a fire pit right here there's a storm coming it got really dark so I'm just gonna collect some firewood I got this firewood right now I'm just gonna collect a little bit more so I can put it in here we're gonna ride out the storm north of here. It's almost been a horseshoe shaped storm coming in.
That was a pretty good storm, but the sun came out and saved the day. Got the fire going. The wood stayed safe under the shelter. And now I'm going to show you the surprise. Okay, here's the surprise. Slug. Sluggo. Okay, first off, I bought a carbon steel frying pan. And when I got it, it was brand new and I've seasoned it. I put olive oil all over it and, and kind of like burned it in on the stove. So this is pretty much a non-stick pan. It's a lot less heavy than a cast iron pan. And also, it has a longer handle, an 11 inch handle. So that's nice. Also, I got a handy cooking grate, okay? So, this will go right over the fire. There's four legs that fold out. It'll fit over the fire so I can cook on it. Seared. Great. Making my grate all white. It can't be good. Okay, so I've got my carbon steel frying pan, my New York strip steak that's marbled, like my baked potato, and my nice choice bread right here. Very good bread. Cooking in the woods. taste it. Let's taste the steak. It's very tender. So I would highly recommend a carbon seal frying pan for your outdoor adventures. And to clean it up you just put a little bit of water on it, put it back on the fire and rub it out. Turned out to be a pretty nice evening. Cheers. <laughs>